I am the vine, and ye are the branches. Consciousness is the vine, and those qualities which you are now conscious of being are as branches that you feed and keep alive. Just as a branch has no life except it be rooted in the vine, so likewise things have no life except you be conscious of them. Just as a branch withers and dies if the sap of the vine ceases to flow towards it, so do things in your world pass away if you take your attention from them. Because your attention is as the sap of life that keeps alive and, sustain and sustains the things of your world. To dissolve a problem that now seems so real to you, all that you do is remove your attention from it. In spite of its seeming reality, turn from its consciousness. This is what is meant by, uh, in the Bible, it says, turn the other cheek. See, people are thinking that it's talking about a literal cheek, but it's not. Become indifferent and begin to feel yourself to be that which would be the solution of the problem. For instance, if you were imprisoned, no man would have to tell you that you should desire freedom. Freedom, or rather the desire of freedom, would be automatic. So why look beyond behind the four walls of your prison bars? Take your attention from being imprisoned and begin to feel yourself to be free. Feel it to the point where it is natural and the very second you do so, those prison bars will dissolve. Apply this same principle to any problem. So, basically, uh, what Neville is saying here is that consciousness, our beliefs, our thoughts, our ideas, our feelings are expressed in our outer world. And um, if you are experiencing conditions and circumstances in your life that you do not wish to experience, then take your attention from those things and place your attention on the conditions and the things that you do desire to experience and begin to feel that you are already those things. Begin to feel that you already have those things regardless of outer conditions or circumstances. This is basically the same thing that the Bible is telling man uh, when it says, um, what everything, whatever things are good, uh, lovely, or just of a good report or whatever, think on those things. Because once again, the Bible is trying to show you also to take your attention off the things that you do not want and place your attention on the things that you do want. Because once again, as it stated, as it stated, consciousness is the one and only reality, and what we are conscious of being, doing, and having. We are, and we can't experience something that we are not conscious of being, doing, or having. So this takes practice, and it takes a understanding of how this works. Uh, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching for those of you that may need some coaching with this. It takes serious discipline, but you can do it. Take your attention, take your energy Take your thoughts, your ideas, take your feelings, your emotions off the things that you do not want and place your feelings, thoughts, beliefs, and emotions on the things that you do want. It takes practice, but I explain this more in depth in my one-on-one -on -one coaching. Message me if you are interested. Thank you.